guys, it's Beverly. I wanted to come on here and show you a finished object. This is the Lily's Sugar and Cream Crochet Summer Top. And I think it fits perfect. I like how the arms went. And it's uh, made out of the Lion Brand Comfy Cotton blend comfy cotton blend i had to stop i had to sneeze <laughs> and um it's in the color cloud nine it took two and maybe a half of um these seven ounce skeins and i used um uh, this pattern for the lily and uh sugar and cream top I used a G hook. This yarn was a number three, which was 50 poly, 50 cotton. And um, I made this size here that was for the extra large, and it only showed a bust of 42 inches. But when I was going, um, doing the chain for the extra large, it came out. and. I want, needed it 48 and it came out 48. It fits absolutely perfect. The arm holes are not too big. I've been using a gauge um, based on what I learned from Pamela's Adoring Crochet to have a seven inch sleeve opening. And then this has two rows of single crochets. Um, I made it the back um, was 23 inches from the bottom to the back up of the neck. You make two panels and sew them together at the shoulders and down the sides. So I made the back 23 inches like the pattern side. Then for the front with a seven inch sleeve opening and you indent nine stitches under the arm and I followed the pattern. Mikey has a tutorial which I can link below on this pattern and uh, for the front I did 16 inches and then I came in nine stitches and created the armholes and when I got up to 20 inches here then I left that for the neck and then I went up additional three so it was like four and three for this so I'm very happy and it fits so perfect I love it I love it and I've been wearing it in Florida hot Florida thank goodness for air conditioning but I'm just so happy it came out just like I expected. So I'm going to be on the lookout for some cotton yarn to try to make it in 100% cotton. So that's, and I'm going to be including a picture in the video. Next I want to show you what I'm, I'm working on. And I mentioned this in my videos before. That I'm using the puzzle, the Premier Puzzle Yarn. And this is using a P hook. Now I didn't plan that. I just put it in my project bag. I'm using a, a P hook, size P as in Peter. And then this is the Premier Puzzle yarn. And this color is tan gram. I won't always want to say tan of gram. But I'm on my second skein of this, and I have a, a third skein. And I think it's going to end up being 45 inches long. So that's going to be good for a um, flap gan. And I have it, I think it's 36 inches wide is how I, I like to make them. And this is, the pattern is... Um, Oh my goodness, I hate it when I draw a blank. The pattern is real easy. It's using the cross um, half double crochets and it's Tiffany Hansen. That's what it is. It's her 
uh, blanket and I'm going to link that pattern below but it's just coming out so soft and cuddly and it's super super easy then I want to tell you what I'm going to make next uh, the pattern fell on the floor so let me pop okay so my next tutorial is going to be using the premier serenity chunky in the colorway would be too easy if it was right there cream but it's the serenity chunky and it has that little fleck in it I bought five skeins each skein is a hundred grams it's a number five bulky and it's the yarn that is called for in this pattern by Premier. It's called the Eyelid Chevron Blanket. And so I'm, that's going to be my next tutorial. And my printer kind of ran out of ink. But it calls to make it 52, no, 48 inches wide. And I did some calculating. And I only want to make it 40 inches wide. So this is going to be a test to see if I got my calculations correct. So a blanket that is 48 inches they're saying to chain 165 for a blanket that I'm saying I want 40 inches I'm saying 133 we'll see if I figured it out right so if you want to make um, this blanket with me I'm going to be starting it as soon as I get done with this one here so I have about uh, one and three quarters skein to put into that puzzle blanket and then I'm going to be starting this blanket so if you want to stock up on some premier yarn you can show me some love and use my um, affiliate link below from premier so premier S serenity chunky that's the yarn and I think that's it for right now hopefully you caught my um, tutorial I did just recently on putting the Santa um, towel together hanging towel for your stove or wherever you want to hang it and I want to announce that August is going to be kitchen month I have showed you in the past in one of my other videos how much kitchen cotton I have I have a big tub I don't know how many gallon tub it is but it's full of kitchen cotton and my craft show, the first one I'm doing is in September, September 25th. So I want to make up a whole bunch of kitchen products to sell at my craft show. So August is going to be Kitchen Cotton Month. And I'll be showing you the plan, uh, planned projects I'm going to be doing. Of course, I'm going to be dish I'm going to be doing the Swiffer cover for, you know, Swiffer duster and it's going to be out of cotton so you could also use it to mop with and everything and of course there'll probably be coasters and scrubbies and all that stuff but I'll be sharing you all those projects with you so if you want to get together all your kitchen cotton that you have hanging around or if you want to buy some new whatever I'll be uh, showing you patterns that I'm going to use in the August kitchen cotton month so that's what's going on uh, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers I want to say thank you to my new subscribers hit the like button love you guys